What is up, my beautiful people? Welcome back to the homeland of top-notch City of content, if I do say so myself. None other than IFTV. It is your boy, Adamo, back on the channel. Now, of course, as you can tell by the title, I'm sure, I'm going to be talking about AS Roma and all their ACL injuries that have set them back in previous seasons and this season as well and potentially in the future, what the club needs to do going forward and how they could potentially solve this issue. Now there is a massive list of players who have been taken down from these ACL injuries. And of course, I couldn't remember them all. Come on guys, let's be serious. Got my laptop in front of me, gotta read them out. So starting from the top, we got the new signing, Karsdorp, of course, the legend, the Dutchman himself. I'm sure you guys playing FIFA 18, definitely use that guy, he's a, he's a savage. You have Rudiger in the past seasons, of course, He's at Chelsea now, but at his time at Roma, he suffered as well an ACL injury. You got Strootman, Pellegrini, Nura, Florenzi, Emerson, Tuminello, Mario Rui, and Ponce. What the f***? Now, first off, Roma have obviously changed coaches in the past from Rudy Garcia to Spalletti and now to Di Francesco. But something to note is that they haven't changed their medical staff. So whether it be the coaches, I'm not too sure. I don't think the players are being overrun because it's been through a series of different coaches that have had the same sort of effects happening with players constantly tearing their ACLs. I mean, it could just be bad luck, but I don't think it's a coincidence that it's the same medical staff over and over and over again. I think that having this amount of ACL injuries is just something absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you look at Arsenal, for example, who have faced tons of injuries in the past, and a lot of people have looked at their medical staff for changes to be made because just something is going on that doesn't really add up, whether it be bad luck or just, you know, poor performance from the medical staff. I'm not too sure, but I think something definitely needs to change at the club in that part. Also, something to note, football is a game of inches. So the fact that Roma are losing big on some of their most important players throughout the season, I think personally that's really holding them back. Of course, we've seen them come in second place numerous times. Now, if you consider that Roma have been coming this freaking close, to winning the Scudetto up against Juve. Of course, we saw last season, it was a very, very tight race until the last few weeks of the city. Uh, of course, if Roma had those players back from their ACL injuries, could it have made a difference? Could they have won the games they draw or won the games they lost, for example? As a club, you have to be thinking how you can move forward and adapt into these situations and possibly preventing them from happening because these aren't like sprains or players are out for a week or two. These are ACL injuries where players miss half to up to a full season. And I think that, you know, with players like Florenzi, Strutman, and Pellegrini, for example, having those key players out makes a big difference for Roma going forward. And in their chase to whether it be win the Scudetto or this season, it looks like trying to qualify for the Champions League may be their primary target. I think that, you know, as a club, you definitely have to make some changes. Could it be the medical staff? Could it just be bad luck? I'm not too sure. But definitely, as I said time and time again in this video, some changes have to be made because you cannot go forward with so many injuries happening, whether it even be from bad luck. Something has to happen. Something has to be adjusted for the club going forward if they look to succeed and possibly win the Scudetto in the next three years, let's say. Anyways, I want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. What could it be that is the leading factor for Roma and having all these injuries? Could it be the luck? Could it be the coaching? Could it be the medical staff? And what does the club have to do going forward to improve on the matter? If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, of course, and subscribe to IFTV for more incredible content coming up covering the Serie A. Also, a quick little shout out to who other than the Warren Ballers, of course, our main squeeze Jimmy Conrad, go check out his YouTube channel and Warren Ballers at Twitter for all the great content that they are producing over there. It has been your boy Adamo, and as usual, peace out.